This week on the show, we have Eunice Chen Promotorov, the co-founder of Mrs. That Last Wedding Gifts, Inc. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding how to turn envy into personal power. Why? Because you can have it too. The reality is, with social media, it's easy to see the highlight reels of people's lives. The nice cars, the fancy homes, the tropical vacations, the ideal relationship, highlighting the ideal moments in people's lives. With seeing this, it's easy to feel envious or even doubtful that you could have those things. But the reality is, you can have all the great things life has to offer too. Anytime you see someone have something you want in your life, get inspired to step up your game by not only replacing feelings of lack with motivation, but by changing your inner belief that you can have those things too. By replacing envy with feelings of joy, excitement, and motivation, we become an energetic match for the things we desire, and what we desire desires us back. Make it your mission today to be happy for everyone you see possessing the things you want and watch how the universe reciprocates those feelings by bringing great things back to you. As Catherine Ponder quotes, what you radiate outward in your thoughts, feelings, mental pictures, and words, you attract into your life. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. What I love about each box is that it's curated so beautifully with such thoughtful and practical items. So, so tell us how you curate each box and all the items in it. I was really specific in thinking you know, I wanted things to be cute, mm -hmm. yet practical, yeah. usable, not throw away. Yeah. Uh, so just over seven years ago, when I got married, I made sure that every single thing that I had along the way as a memento was exactly that. You know, something I could hold on to and look back fondly. Uh, and I actually personally curated all the boxes myself. So we, we curated them, we created them, we had them produced. And how we have everything laid out is very intentional. And I very much kept the theme, and that was important to me. So when we call it She Said Yes, which is our engagement box, I wanted to make sure that every single item in there was to either celebrate the engagement, be something practical, I won't, don't want to give it away, but you know, something for the ring, the shiny diamond that you just got, or the jewels. Uh, and for all six themes, it's not just a mishmash of things and calling it a certain theme, it's something different being there, and it's not a one and done throwaway piece. So uh, lots of longevity, something that lasts a long time, but super cute mm -hmm. and not anything that you would have thought that you needed. And that's the most common yeah. feedback that we get, Dario. Say, you know what? Amazing stuff, full size. They're not samples by any means. And certainly like, wow, I didn't even know that I needed it, but I do. So we get that feedback quite a bit. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Eunice Chen Promotorov, the co-founder of Mrs. At Last Wedding Gifts, Inc., which offers a set of six Mrs. At Last Wedding subscription boxes, creating lasting memories leading up to your special day. Eunice, thanks so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I am excellent, and actually, I'm super excited to be here with you. I'm very excited to talk to you. I'm loving these gift boxes. So how did you come up with the concept of Mrs. At Last Wedding Gifts, Inc.? And tell us about the significance of the name as well. Absolutely. So it goes back a couple of years ago, seven, a little over seven to be exact. And it was really inspired by our own wedding journey. So my husband and I, we had a really small and intimate wedding. It was really only the 27 of us, including my husband and myself. But even though we kept everything very simple and intimate, there was still a lot of stress involved in the whole planning process. So I can't even imagine if you were 150 guests, 300 as you know some, some couples will have. And so what I had realized along the way, because I had some small mini meltdowns, I wasn't a bridezilla <laughs> by any means, but there was a lot of stress along the way. And so when I, I wanted to think about, you know, what can we do for brides to enjoy the process along the way and not get caught up with the stress? of planning, not get caught up with all the details that really when you look back, you don't want to remember all those bad moments. You want to remember everything being fun and memorable and full of love, right? And certainly not stress. Yeah. So that was important to be able to come up with a concept that would allow brides to celebrate every milestone along, along the way from when you're engaged, however long that is until the wedding itself. And that's where the inspiration of the name came from. It's Mrs. At Last. 
Mm-hmm. And so it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, where you are along in the journey. The fact is, it's the culmination of, of being proud that you are now a bride, you're married. This is your journey. And so it speaks to women of all ages, whether you're being married for the first time or second. You know, we're inclusive all age groups. And that's what I kept in mind when I was curating the product itself. Mm -hmm. And I like the company mandate. It's about creating lasting memories and impressions. So tell us about how the gift boxes do so. Yeah, absolutely. So I always explain it this way. When you get a surprise in the mail, it's similar to having a birthday. Mm -hmm. A present show up at your door or you're imagining for those who celebrate Christmas early in the morning when you're unwrapping your gifts. And how we've themed all six of our boxes is that they're intentionally milestones along the way from the engagement all the way up into the wedding day. Mm-hmm. And we plan on expanding later on to the beyond, so think honeymoon, etc. And so as a bride gets these boxes in the mail, whether it be for herself, she buy it for herself, or well-meaning friends, family, co-workers can also do the same for her. It gets her to stop in the moment and just enjoy. So every single box is curated with a theme. We start off with our very first one, which is she said yes so obviously that's a very engagement related theme and so that's a pause for her just to stop and say you know what plan your engagement party is how you're envisioning it or if you want not even having an engagement party use all the products in the the box itself kick back with a glass of champagne and just celebrate and take it in the moment that you're engaged mm-hmm. and you're going to look back at each of those milestones along the way and say you know what i did something about it i made it fun i made it memorable and it wasn't that whole havoc of planning and stress that's the whole point of how to create those lasting memories i want to talk about the wedding day one-on-one box i feel like a lot of brides will enjoy that box so tell us about that and what it entails yeah absolutely so the wedding day 101 it's box number four we have a total of six boxes i'll do a bit of show and tell uh so there's the box i don't want to give away all the the secrets inside each box but i'll show you some of my favorites So what we've included is a ring pillow. It's all the different essentials that you'll need for the actual day. Whether or not you've thought about including it as part of your list, whether or not you're intentionally putting it as part of the plans. So if you you do have someone who will be a ring bearer, you can certainly tie it together with the ribbon so it makes a beautiful little addition on the wedding day. But if you don't have a ring bearer and you're not going to be that traditional, makes a beautiful prop for any types of photos. So think, hand it over to your photographer, Put the wedding set itself, like the bridal set of rings, add the spouse's ring to it as well. Really nice keepsake. And the other thing I love that I wanted to make sure was included, it's a set of two vow books. And you'll see that they're beautifully bound. It says vows from this day forward. It's really part of that planning. And we always encourage that vows should be written last minute. You should really be thinking about it at least a month in advance. And so there's quite a number of pages. It's got a little satin ribbon in it as well. So you can do all your planning of the vows and it's beautiful enough that you can carry it to the altar. And that way when you're standing there and reciting your vows, you know, beautifully written, you're not trying to uh, remember what they were, they're already written, and then you can keep them afterwards as a keepsake. So think fifth anniversary, you can look back and go, oh, that's what we said to each other, right? So anyway, a little bit of a memento for the day of and it's a nice keepsake afterwards. What I love about each box is that it's curated so beautifully with such thoughtful and practical items. So so tell us how you curate each box and all the items in it. I was really specific in thinking, you know, I wanted things to be cute mm-hmm. yet practical, yeah. usable, not throwaway. Yeah. Uh, so just over seven years ago when I got married, I made sure that every single thing that I had along the way as a memento was exactly that. You know, something I could hold on to and look back fondly. Uh, and I actually personally curated all the boxes myself. So we, we curated them, we created them, we had them produced, and how we have everything laid out is very intentional. And I very much kept the theme, and that was important to me. So when we call it She Said Yes, which is our engagement box, I wanted to make sure that every single item in there was to either celebrate the engagement, be something practical, I won't, don't want to give it away, but you know, something for the ring, the shiny diamond that you just got, or the jewels. Uh, and for all six themes, it's not just a mishmash of things and calling it a certain theme, it's something different being there, and it's not a one and done throwaway piece. 
So uh, lots of longevity, something that lasts a long time, but super cute mm -hmm. and not anything that you would have thought that you needed. And that's the most common yeah. feedback that we get, Dario. Say, you know what? Amazing stuff, full size. They're not samples by any means. And certainly like, wow, I didn't even know that I needed it, but I do. So we get that feedback quite a bit. Yeah, and I like that each box makes the bride feel pampered and special. Um, and I think that's really important, especially on your, you know, you're leading up to your special day. Uh, so let's talk about the price point. I like that they're affordable mm -hmm. and they're accessible to everyone. So tell us a little bit about the price point. Oh, happy to. You can buy any of the boxes by a single theme. So again, we have six all the way from the engagement to the wedding day and beyond. The best price point is if you actually get all six. So individually, they're at $48 US. You'll have to translate and do the exchange if you are a Canadian customer or international. But if you do buy a box or a set of three or as much as the six, the price drops down to as low as $38 US. So super affordable. Full-size items, at least between six to eight is what we aim for each box. Uh, and what I purposely tried to do is to make sure that the retail value was at least $100 each box. Mm -hmm. And so if, whether it's a splurge gift for yourself or your best friend, you know, if you're the maid of honor, a uh, good group gift. We also have some you know, co-workers, extended family who want to pitch in and do something special for the bride. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've seen individuals getting it for themselves, buying it for their best friend, and also family and, and friends and co-workers pitching in as well. Mm -hmm. And I see the feedback on your website. You have such great reviews. So tell us about some of the feedback that you've received. The funnest ones are the brides that aren't expecting this. Yeah. And you know, subscription boxes aren't new. I started my first one doing a wine and cheese club and I bought my husband a sock club. But I guess the wedding subscription or bridal box concept is still relatively new. Uh, so it's a lot of our brides saying, I didn't know where this came from. I, I think I can guess who it is that shipped it to me. But it's the surprise and delight when they first get it in the mail. And we have a beautiful bubble mailer. So I think if you can look right behind me, just need to point in the right direction. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. So it's not a nondescript, ugly bubble mailer. It's beautifully wrapped, it's got a bow on it. So you can imagine, you know, when your post person shows up at the door or delivery person and you've got this parcel, it's like, what is this? Mm -hmm. I didn't order this. And I know I surprise myself when I order, for example, from David's Tea. I place the order myself. I'm still surprised when I open it. So think about it when you get a gift on your doorstep well-meaning people who are trying to gift you for being you know, newly engaged, that is the best feeling, is when the brides send their feedback and you know, I love it and I can't wait for the next one to show up. Yeah, I love the packaging. Um, I went through each box and I, I took some things out <laughs> because I like them so much. All the items are great and it's very beautifully Aww. packaged. So I think you're doing Thank a great you. job. So what's been the most rewarding thing about really seeing your company flourish and, and seeing, you know, and getting feedback that women feel special and pampered with these boxes? Well, you'll see that I'm the co-founder. So it's my husband and I, you know, we don't have a large team. It was born out of our own experience. And what we really wanted to do was to make it special, especially since we've been living in a pandemic for a number of years. And I, I just heard that it's probably turning into an endemic. Things have changed. Gifting is different and there was all this pent up demand and so many couples that had to make you know, postponements or different types of plans. The fact that we could still be part of that special day and reduce the amount of stress, I think that itself is pretty special. And so that's what we're pretty proud of. You know, there's a lot of learning along the way, a lot of obstacles that we had to face. But when we think back to why we first founded the company and why we chose to do it, that makes it all worth it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's talk about some of the obstacles you face because we have so many entrepreneurs that watch this show that get inspired by hearing stories like this. So, so what are some obstacles you faced and how did you get through it? I have to set a bit of the foundational background. So my husband and I, we are corporate employees, you know, in corporate Canada, work for large organizations. So the fact that we're doing this foray as entrepreneurs is new, especially mm -hmm. to me. My husband has been an entrepreneur previously. But you know, you, you have to be prepared and have multiple number of plans. You can't just have a plan A and say, I'm going to execute on what I was first thinking and cross your fingers and hope that everything will be for the best. So that's one thing we learned along the way. Nothing can prepare you for being in the moment and just trying to figure out those mitigation plans. So I think back to, you know, we're ultra planned, prepared people. But what was a big obstacle for us that we hadn't considered was the, the shipping. There was a huge amount of demand for overseas shipping, trying to get it into North America. 
And so what we were learning was, you know, the, the tariffs and the duties, how to clear them at customs. The fact that we were tracking the shipment, you know, on a on a cruise ship or on a on a boat anyway, on a cargo ship on its way here, and then finally hitting the rails. We were tracking every single moment, Daryl, from the point it hit the west coast, where it was going across the various provinces, and when it could finally reach our fulfillment center. Mm -hmm. And because that caused a delay, we had to figure what we were going to end up doing. So you learn along the way. It was a bit of a you know a nail biter <laughs> because we weren't anticipating that situation and we didn't have that background in import and shipping mm -hmm. but we've learned and we we joke now because we can't do that now since we've figured out first time around mm -hmm. you know we say it's probably the most practical mba that you can ever do is just get your hands wet dip your feet into it learn along the way mm -hmm. and you can't get anything more practical than just going through the experience itself uh so i'll say you know what rewarding if anyone's just thinking about whether or not you do it, don't wait for the perfect down the road that you've always been dreaming of. Just go and do it. Learn along the way. You'll find there are rewards along the way. And I feel that that's the best approach. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's Nike said it best, right? Just do it. Don't overthink it. Just, just do, do it. it. Just jump into it. And that's how you yeah. learn, right? The best way to learn absolutely. is just to just do it. So. I agree with that. And for our viewers that want to purchase Miss That Last Wedding Gift Boxes, uh, where can they do so? I'd say check out our website, Mrs. At Last Box .com. So Mrs. M R S at Last Box .com. You can also find us on Instagram, of course. We're also on Pinterest. We're on Facebook as well. Great. Thank you so much, Eunice, for being on the show today. I keep up the great work. This is making a lot of brides feel very special. I love all of the packaging and everything in these boxes. So thank you so much. No, thank you. Awesome opportunity and appreciate you spending the time. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.